Hello and welcome back to the Truly Bedrock server. Now today I've got a couple of things to do, but the main thing that I want to show you is some of the stuff that I've been working on during streams, which I haven't actually shown very much in the episodes. So, very quick look in the inventory, as you can see, a fair bit of sand. And if I go over here, we'll place down the ender chest. And there we go, and a fair bit more sand. Lots of sand, maybe about seven and a half shulkers full of sand. Um, let's go over and have a real quick look at what I'm doing with it. Right, I just thought I'd hit record a little bit early here so you can actually see it coming into view. Um, I think it's just past this island. Um, come on, I see you. Yes, there we go. This is what I've been working on during streams. For whatever reason, I thought it'd be fun to do this. Now, I don't know if I've explained it before, but this is just solid sand. This is 100% sand. Might as well place some sand whilst I'm here. Um, and we're down to, hello, we're down to our last few layers of sand to be placed. So as you can see, over here, we've got, what we've got, three layers to go? But over here, we've got two layers to go. So yeah, basically, it's a little bit of filling this in. I'm going to fill this in um, later on this week. And depending on the time of this video, there may be the actual drop footage at the very end of the video. So if I haven't explained this before, let's go and explain it. Um, which way? Which way? This way. This way is the right way. There we go. Right. Ignore the mess. The mess can be ignored. Let's pull that way. Okay. Now, down here, you will see, is a monument. So the monument is down there. We've got signs holding up all of this sand, all resting on one block. I place a piston, I power the piston, block moves, signs break, sand drops, sand castle. Now do not ask me down in the comments how I'm going to farm the guardians, I'm not. I don't care about the guardians, I don't care, this is just for fun. This is for sheer funsies of it and that's it. Um, so I've got around about a 60 by 60 area with 30 tall sand across it. So it's quite a big chunk of stuff going on here. But yeah, check this out. This is going to be so much fun. Right, I think what we're actually going to do for the main part of today is finish off this honey farm. Now, this is a farm which I started a long time ago. And as you can see, I never finished it. I didn't even get that far with it. I've even got a few bees, which is kind of nice, <laughs> considering there was an incident with the bees. Um, but we'll see if we can breed up a few more of them today. Get this honey farm actually going to full capacity. Um, now the problem is, I started this a long time ago and I can't remember a single thing about what I was actually trying to achieve with this. So I'm going to have to go away and have a little think about what on earth I was doing and why. Because I've obviously done some redstone. What does it mean? I literally just asked in the chat if anyone had any Soul Speed books and um, Mr. Beardstone said, yeah, no problem, I'll come on over. Look what else he gave me. What a cheeky blighter. And look at this. He was expecting to get some respect from me. I think rescinded. Rescinded. Not going to happen. I don't know what to do with this now. Oh, this is the third time. And this is it all finished. I think it's finished anyway, I haven't actually tested it and I don't like the fact that you can see my stuff through there. Um, at the moment I'm just content in actually keeping the bees where they're meant to be. Don't want them escaping and I need to switch out some of this for some orange stuff so it all continues through properly. But I don't actually mind the red flowers in the middle there and I need to breed up the bees as well. So the plan is I'm going to have bottles going into all of these down the two sides and then I'm going to have shears in the end ones. Now I'm just going to fill up these with shears like once and then forget about it and that should be fine. I don't think I need to have them continually filling up with shears from above um, and they'll break occasionally but you know by then I think it's going to see us through a good long time. So the next thing that I need to do is I need to get all of the bottles organized into here and I need to make sure that I've got my out or my inflow working up here because um, yeah, stuff. 
Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Right, I was just swinging by the post office to drop something off for DB and I thought I'd check my box because it's got the light on. And look what I found. I found raw cod, a cat toy and some string. So I'll go take that back to the Groovy Cats. There's also a couple of messages here which I haven't actually read yet, so let's have a quick read of these. Um, so, dearest server mate, I'm writing this message because recent events, I think it is of the utmost importance that we have the town meeting. Recently I discovered a massive corruption in the base around my beacon. Around beacon. My base around beacon. Um, at the rate it's going, I'd say addressing it now is our best interest. Warmest regards, Jesse B. I mean, yeah, it sounds a bit like scaremongering to me, but you know, we'll see. What's this one as well? We've got another one. We're getting leaflets and pamphlets through the door. I mean, oh, it just says emergency meeting. I can't read that. Well, I don't know. It didn't seem that bad to me. I feel like we could put it off for the future. I don't feel like we need to start jumping to and doing stuff now. Although, there seems to be some mess, like, climbing up my house here, which I haven't noticed. This isn't even near a beacon. What's going on? Where's this coming from? Oh, it is near a beacon. I didn't see that. Oh, well... I guess that kind of makes sense. I think it's fine, though. I think somebody's just messing about. If I'm honest, I think somebody's just messing about. So, just another thing whilst I'm doing my rounds, we've had a couple of new patrons. So, I need to add in the um, armor stands and various bits and bobs down here. So, we've got our first one. And this is we're going to go to Jesse Noons. Now, let's see, that's a nice pose. I think that one looks good. Let's get these bits going on there. Right, signage. We need a sign. So, I can't remember what I did for this. Do I need to... Yeah, that's what I did. It was five. Name, five. Of course, massive thank you to Grouds and Jesse Noons for joining the patrons and adding their support to keep me doing what I'm doing right now. Now, that's that one. The next one is we need to do cake hole plus another one out here. So we've got to put a sign out here and then we need to go into the cake hole and do two things. We've got here. There we go. This one's going to Ricky Roy. Now, anybody who knows anything about the community and comes to any of the streams will know Ricky Roy. Um, just starting out on streaming, doing quite well. Can't, can't deny it. he's doing quite well out there. Now I need to go in here and place out two more cakes as well. Um, one for Jesse and one for Ricky. So, let's get that started. And we're going to go in an order, so. And then the next one goes out to the Ricky Roy. Amazing, amazing. Right, time to tidy all this up. Really, really pleased with how this is looking out here in the Patrons Hall of Fame. I hope all the Patrons are as well. We're getting a little collection here. This I need to clean up. Lovely. Absolutely loving the Patrons Hall of Fame. Right, time to go and get on with the thing that I started off, which was the honey stuff. Just putting the final ones of these into place. So the final sets of shears are now going in. So, all of this is now filled up, so I can put all of this back. And we can even try some of this. See what happens. What I'd hope is I will have a load of... I think I'll just break that box, because that's just causing me problems. Um, so what I'd hope is... Yeah, we've got a load of honeycomb down there. Right, great. Slight problem that I can see. Only a slight problem. Hmm. Do I pop in there and grab it? Might be a good idea. I might have a play with something just to make sure. In my testing world, nothing went past the hoppers. But apparently here they do. So... I might wait till night time and pop in there. That'll be despawned by night time. You know what? I'm going to have a little play in my testing world and see what happens. Because there might be a very, very simple way to stop that from happening. Um, so, anyway. That's not the point. Right now, the point is... 
we've got all of this set up and I've got all of the feed and in section set up but I need oh so much more glass I need like a billion tons more glass I don't even know where these I don't I mean where where are all the bottles there should be somewhere Seriously, that's it. Every single bottle that I've got has just filled up like that and that. And I've got to fill up all of this on two sides. Right. Time to go and sort out some glass. This is going to get really, really expensive on the glass front. I mean, look at this. Basically, it's one piece of glass per bottle, which seems kind of expensive to me, but... My shulkers of glass are not going to stretch to it. So what I'm doing is I'm dividing up everything that I get into two piles and distributing them evenly. But I need 15 stacks of bottles per slot, essentially. So we've got nine down there and then we've got another five up here. So 14, sorry, 14 stacks of bottles per slot. I mean, look at this. This is where this is all going. And then the next one. Oof. This is going to be expensive. This is going to use up all of the glass I've got. I mean, look at that. That's one shulker gone. Almost instantly. And that one was full. Right, I've gone ahead and crafted up every single bit of glass that I actually own at the moment. Um, but I think what I need to do, I say every bit of glass, every bit of glass that I can craft into bottles. You can't craft coloured glass, sadly. Orange bottles would be ideal. Um, but basically, I need to spend quite a lot of time AFK at my witch farm to get the rest of the glass bottles that I'm going to need. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to call this half complete. Now, what you can see is this is still filtering through, and it's filtering through to there. So, I feel like I can connect that one up, that one up, that one up, and that one up, okay? So, I've still got a big chunk left to do, like over half there, and I've got the same on the other side. Um, one, two, three, four, I think up to there, not into that one, but that one's mostly full. So, one two, three, four. Done. Let's go and have a quick look and see what our drops are like over there. Yeah, nothing landed in an odd place that time. And they're all coming into the right place now. The honey blocks are there. Oh, no, you see, look at that. Look at that. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to have a little play with this. I just added in a simple ring of glass like that, just to see if it actually stops things in the tracks. Um, might do, might not. I'm going to keep an eye on it, though. Um, but we're getting the honey, we're getting the combs, we're doing okay. I kind of just wanted to have a little sort out of that. Uh, we're going to put some of those in there, because they look cool. Yeah, that goes back in there. Beautiful. In fact, I'll take that out as well. Might as well craft up some of this whilst I'm at it. Um, you can go in there. Oh, I've run out of space already. Um, yeah, I don't need that much of that. Right. And then I can split the bottles back up and put them back in the system. And hopefully that will be roughly evenly distributed across the two sides. Where I've got the honey from. So I'll just have a little tidy up here and then we're all done. There we go, that is that one. Um, I just need to do that big AFK session over at the witch farm, like I said, to get the glass bottles. Next up, we're going to go and have a look at how that sand drop is going. Okay. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. Four, three, two, one. Snad si ti zentiri hex dia koshia. What earth? Nothing happened. Literally nothing happened. What the heck?
what the actual heck? I'm sorry guys, I'm not keeping up with things. Are you serious? Do I have to... I've got to break this myself. I've got to do it manually. <laughs> oh my lord. This is like slow-mo. Half of it is breaking. I can see the entities breaking right now. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Jews Jazz, thank you very much for the follow. The lag is real. It really is. Um, CKN or CNK77, thank you very much for the follow. DJ Norm with 100 bits, Coastcraft with 5 bits, Dadcraft with 100 bits. We're up to level 5 and I just got a noise in my ear that says there's something gone through but I don't know how much for and I'm only going to see it in a few minutes. I mean, that is so weird. Oh my goodness me. Kai Bluey, thank you very much for the subscription. Welcome to the Groover Gang. Nearly leglessly, 100 bits. Oh my goodness. Oh. Now that I've managed to get it to do the thing, I'm kind of half happy. Cam the pilot, yeah, you got a gift sub. Wish I was in the voice chat with Foxy. I mean, this is just going weird from my angle. I don't even know what to make of that. Is that just like a whole pile of pending ticks? <laughs> Jag with 35 bits, thank you very much. It's weird from here too. Whoa, this is crazy. <laughs> this is just the rest of the stream now. I'm just going to be sat like this. Oh my lord. It's funny from your angle, Jesse. Okay. That's interesting. Oh my goodness. I can't even look around that much. It's done. It's trying? It doesn't look like it's done to me. Big Dre with another thousand Big bits. Dre, thank you. Dan with a hundred bits. Zerk with two fifty bits. Mostly done on mine. It's mostly done on yours. Right. Wow. Oh. Hype train guys, thank you so much. Your client is trying to catch up with the server. That's probably right, my client's not the best in the world. Oh my goodness. Okay. One eternity later. I think it's my pants computer. Right. Does this this looks kind of done? This looks like it's visual. And that's it. Well, that went badly. And that's a fact. Oh my goodness. Server survived. Slack got a good recording. I'm going to have to see all of these angles. Right, so that was the whole sand drop thing. This is something that I've been working towards for a couple of months on stream. Um, so, yeah, it was quite 
It was quite the event. I think it was epic. I'm a little bit sad that it didn't turn out perfectly, but at the same time, it was epic. That's, that's all that needs to be known. Epic. Let's see, can I, can I get down here and break this sign? Is that a possibility? Seems not. I'm going to use my epic parkour skills to get back out again. Probably. Maybe. Eventually. Um, but yeah, as you can see, some of the signs did not break. Now, what I think was, um, these are probably on chunk boulders that were unloaded at the time when the signs were meant to break. And so they've kind of just updated themselves and stuck onto whatever they found at the time. Um, but, yeah, the, the monument's still completely in one piece down there. Some of the stacks fell perfectly as they're meant to. Some did not. You know, it's just the way that it goes. It's um, very interesting the way that it works. Now, somebody said that it's because um, you only get 100 updates per chunk per tick. Which, you know, there's quite a lot more going on than that here. So that would make a good reason why this didn't turn out perfectly. But still, I had a lot of fun doing it. So, what next? I think next is to build something here.